Welcome to this very quick view of update 2.5 of the Stream Deck MIDI plugin. There are some minor changes and one big new feature in this update. The first one is actually sent to me by a user. It is a definition file that enables you to show the fader value as a percentage as an alternative to decibels and raw MIDI values. And in the program change action, it is now possible to send both coarse and fine bank select. The previous version only had one field, which corresponded to the fine bank select. Now you can define both coarse and fine bank select. The significant new feature in this release is the script button. The script button doesn't have any default functionality. Instead, you write scripts that define what the button should do. Scripts can react to button events and to incoming MIDI messages and can, as a response, send MIDI messages and change the button state, text and image. Scripts can be edited in the Stream Deck editor or loaded from files. In a separate tutorial video, I explain the scripting in more detail, so I will only add a small example script here to give you an idea of what it looks like. When the button is pressed, a note is played, and when the button is released, the note is muted. In addition, it will listen for incoming MIDI messages for CC5, and if such a message with the value 127 is received, it will respond by sending a CC64 message with the value 0. That's all for this video. Please have a look at the website and the scripting tutorial video if you are interested in what you can do with the script button. Thanks for watching.